The same Marcus Rashford is out of contract in June. United preparing to activate a one-year contract extension for him. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense to you? Or is there still doubt in your mind, as it was the other day, about the wisdom of longevity in the same sentence as oh, Manchester they let, United? They can't let him go for free, can they? If his contract expires at the end of this summer, is that what we're saying, June 23, mm. then it's not the same as offering Bruno Fernandes an extended contract with a big bag of money attached to it when you've already had two or three years left on his contract. This is a different dynamic. This is as much about protecting the asset because he's not worth nothing. He's a Manchester United footballer and a very talented one. But you've got a great idea about Rashford. I, I do. don't know why. I do because I don't think he's as good as people make him out to be. And I, I think it's unfair on the boy too. I think people are building him up to heights that he's not at. He Clearly... It's a ridiculous argument to suggest he's not a good player. He's played for his country and he plays for arguably the biggest club in the country that could have an embarrassment of riches to replace him. He has done some very commendable things, but he's not a global superstar. He isn't the best footballer to ever set foot on a pitch and he is a little bit one-dimensional. But is he a good player? Yes, he is. So with that in mind, would Manchester United want to let him go for free? No, because someone would be stupid enough to pay a lot of money for him. I think he's done nothing in the last two years. And people can make excuses for that. They can mm. turn around and say it's because he was carrying well, he's been in. injured. Well, but there was also to talk about PSG, but that seemed to be agent pe fabrication. Pe people can make excuses for the fact that he's been injured. But he hasn't been injured. He's had surgery since last autumn, right? And he hasn't lifted a leg, in my view, since then. And people can put it down to a variety of reasons that ultimately he's coming back from an injury. Well, he was the one that wanted to delay his return back from the uh, European Championships to be able to have a surgery so he couldn't come back until October when he should have been. That just shows you where Man United were as a football club, that they allowed that crap to go on. And bottom line, now, his, his attitude last season was poor. People make up the idea that because the team was poor, that gives everyone else an excuse to be poor. How about be the exception? Not the bloody rule. Yeah. How about do something rather than shrug your shoulders and look at me and say the world is woe is me, and actually bother to give the right attitude and outlook. Now he's motivated. Of course he's motivated because he's, he's going to miss the bus. He's not going to go on that trip to Qatar and play in a World Cup, which comes around once every four years for these players. So he's double lively. And of course, Manchester United should trigger the um, the extension of the contract because otherwise they're going to give him away for free. And the only beneficiary of that is it's going to probably be his ghastly agent and the player himself. Uh, before we go on this subject of Manchester United, I was interested to get your your take on Eric Bai's parting shot. So, He's right as well, by the way. <laughs> seriously? Oh, yeah. For those who don't know, I mean, Ten Hag dismissed Eric Bai's idea that Manchester United prioritise English players. Now, as he, as he headed to the exit door, Bai came away with, the club should avoid favouring English players and give everyone a chance. The club should encourage competition in the dressing room, not just look out for some. I've always had the he feeling means Harry that the national player was prior, prioritised, English mean, player. He means Harry Maguire. Yeah, He's, he means Harry Maguire. I mean, where he falls down is he makes it about an English player, whereas he just should have just said, if I'm going to go in, I might as well go a whole hog, right, and say Harry Maguire. But Harry's an easy, easy target here. Well, why wouldn't he be? Because Harry Maguire is the player he's talking about. Who else should he be talking about then? He's being specific because there's only one English centre-half playing at that time, wasn't there? So why doesn't he look at himself? Well, he's Eric in the mix. Bayer, why yeah, did you not get no, the first team? Never mind Harry Maguire. But, but, but he's saying that it's unfair. I mean, we can make the argument about Bayer being good enough or not good enough. Who signed him? Mourinho? Mourinho signed him, right? Mm -hmm. um, so with that in mind, you can look at that decision and say, was it a flawed decision? But if he believes, and I'm not close enough to the, every performance he put out for Man United to suggest that he, does, he has a, some validity behind this, yeah. if he believes that he didn't get the opportunity to have a run of games because they keep on patronising Harry Maguire, then what's he supposed to say? Yes, I can look at myself, I could do better. But Maguire has been given latitude. He's been given an immense amount of latitude. No, no, no. Not now, it's not. You're only agreeing with Bai because you're tar you, you also go with targeting... Uh, we're, we're targeting no, um, I'm agree there Harry. Was, there was an element of truth in that, yes. That's because, not fair, though. Well, it's entirely fair because I don't believe that Harry Maguire is good enough to be given the benefits he's been given. And he's so been you found think Bai's got a case here? A little bit, yeah. But I d has he, did he do enough to displace Maguire? Possibly not. But Manchester United prioritise English players. Well, been, no, are you saying that? No, I'm, I, I, again, I go back to what I said to you, which is he should have been specific cause it, about Harry Maguire. And so making it about English players is probably silly because how many English centre-halves do they actually have? Well, exactly. One. Why right? doesn't, so they're why making doesn't it about, look at himself? You weren't good enough. And, and no one's suggesting that he perhaps hasn't looked at himself, but he's talking about the unfair landscape. That he's, it's, it's almost like having unconscious bias. There's an unconscious bias towards playing Harry Maguire in this conversation because Harry Maguire's an £80 million centre-back and maybe on gone to Solskjaer felt that we needed a rock hard English centre half bought for 80 million quid from Leicester needs to play him needs to play him irrespective of his form Ten Hag doesn't suffer from that because Ten Hag didn't sign him mm. Ten Hag doesn't have any ownership over Harry Maguire any affinity any loyalty or any necessity to justify the 80 million pound that he didn't spend so Maguire sits, sits himself on the bench as his performances warrant now we hope 
that Southgate will pay attention to that and only pick Maguire if his current form merits it. They didn't miss, did he, by? People take it for granted that they're going to start and that weakens the team. Well, that's a, not as well, well, that's a bit like the argument that Danny Murphy's making for about the Liverpool players and their attitude. Yeah. And and that is a real swipe. That is not. A, that's a broadside against Harry Maguire. That's basically saying you take it for granted that you're going to play, irrespective of how poor your performances were. And that says a lot about the club as well. Sorry, I'm keeping you away from your other sandwiches. You are. It's quarter to twelve. Jim White and Simon Jordan, Monday to Friday mornings from ten on AM on DAB via the Talksport app and on your smart speaker. Talksport.